Hi guys, hope everyone is well. Just wanted to mention a few quick words about my article um, that I have that's published this week. I know this is probably coming up backwards um, for you guys on the screen, but this is one very close to my own heart. It's mindfulness and self-compassion for fertility challenges. I'm gonna share the link to this um, in this post and I'll also put it on my website. Um, just wanted to say a few words on this one though because um, as I was saying it's close to my heart um, I've experienced fertility challenges myself for over 13 years um, some people may know this some people may not um, I really felt compelled to write this article recently because um, I've been in contact with a lot of people recently that um, are more opening up about maybe challenges and fertility challenges and problems that they're experiencing themselves um, and I kind of just found myself that the more truthful and honest I was about my own experiences um, about all the changes and everything I've put into my own life over the last couple of years and um, people are naturally opening up and so many people are suffering in silence um, about you know their challenges that is preventing them maybe from moving on to the next stage of their lives um, so I wanted to share some of my own, I suppose, experiences, um, my own challenges, um, what I've done in my own life. Um, I've made so many changes over the last few years in terms of mindfulness, meditation, self-compassion, yoga, journaling, diet, um, my social circles, my, you know, life, my daily routine in general. Um, and it's the one thing that collectively, should I say, everything together, I feel has really resulted in um, myself and my husband naturally conceiving this third pregnancy that um, we're expecting now very soon. Um, all of these things, you know, the medically impossible um, was never, you know, meant to or be able to happen. Um, so I guess I just want to share with you guys, there was always hope. This was never, ever, ever structurally meant to be able to happen for us um but all of these changes collectively i really feel have resulted in that so i've also put together um a complete online program which is also um up on my website at the moment it's just under the courses um and <clears throat> it's a full program um for mindfulness and self-compassion for fertility challenges um if you click into the curriculum tab you'll see the way i've separated and structured it all out it's a complete program. You do it at your own pace. Um, it's yours to keep once you buy it, and it can um, it can just I suppose teach you everything that I've done in my life, you know, for this amazing um, you know, change and everything to have happened. So again, the article um, I will put the link into this post, and it's in the Celtic Media Group newspapers this week. So Westmead Examiner today, um, annual Celt. Me Chronicle tomorrow and then also in the Westmead Independent um, and the Connacht Telegraph as well. Um, I possibly am missing one in there, I'm not sure, but I'll put, a, I'll put a, a link out anyway on my pages. I really hope that this um, helps and even reaches somebody that may be struggling um, with a fertility challenge um, because it's difficult and it's really nice to realise that sometimes you know there's a lot of people going through the same when we kind of talk more openly about it. So thank you all. Have a great day and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.